Hey guys, so today's video is going to be over how to price your learning binders. I've had a lot of people ask me how much I charge, how much they should charge, and to be honest, I don't like people telling me how much I should charge or how much I'm worth. So what I will do is teach you how to break down the cost of everything, and then from there, you can make your pricing for your learning binders. So first thing is the binder. If you get it from Walmart, it's going to cost you about $2. My laminated was $32. I honestly don't calculate that in. I just put it there. If you want to, you can. But one binder, you'll pay that laminator off. Unless you go and buy a $300 laminator, you're fine. Laminate sheets, $19.71 for 200 sheets. Cardstock, I paid $12.49 for 300 sheets. Dollar Tree supplies, I get the pencils, the sharpener, the pencil grips, the pouch, and the markers. Roughly about $2 if you put two of each of the pencils and the markers in there. A little less because it's $1.25 now, but you get about three to four items in some of these things for $1.25. My ink, I am charged by HP Instant, $25 a month for 700 pages. And then for vinyl off of Amazon, 12 by 15 foot, I pay about $14. So... That's all of the supplies that I use to make one binder with the amounts and how many of each I get. So now it's time to break down these ones, like the sheets of paper and the pages. And then, of course, the vinyl to see how much I am going to be spending on one sheet of paper, one sheet of laminate. You get the point. So... For laminate sheets, again, I pay $19.71. I'm going to divide that by 200 sheets. 10 cent a sheet of laminate when using on a project. Cardstock, $12.49. Going to divide that by 300 sheets. That gives me four cent a page. For my ink, I spend three cent a page to use my printer. And then for the vinyl, I'm going to take $14 divided by how many feet you're getting, which is 15. In this case, gives me 93 cent a feet. There's 12 inches in one foot, so 93 cent a foot divided by 12 inches gives me 0 0.07 inches. Times that by four, and you're going to get 31 cent per binder for the vinyl. I only use about four inches for the vinyl. All right, so now it's time to calculate all of this up. So say for one binder, we're gonna use, I'm gonna put 30 sheets in this binder for my customer. So what I need to add together is the 10 cent for the laminate plus the four cent for the cardstock I'm gonna use and the three cent that it's costing me to use my printer. So you have 0.10 plus 0.04 plus 0.03. That gives me 17 cent Per page and if we times that by 30 which is the amount of sheets in a binder and this is my example so you don't have to do 30 in a binder that equals five dollars and ten cents that you're spending on laminate sheets cardstock ink Next, we have the binder, of course, which is $2. And then you have your um, items from Dollar Tree that are $2. Again, if you want to calculate in some of this laminator costs, you can, but you don't have to. And we want to calculate in our vinyl. So that is going to give us 941 supplies. 
So you spent roughly $10 on supplies to make this one binder. It's gonna take you about 40 minutes at the most. Guys, these binders don't take long to make at all, especially if you've been doing projects and you know your way around the Cricut machine, it's not gonna take long at all. So $10 in supplies, say you charge your customer $55. Mind you guys, that's not bad for a customized item that can be passed down generations and generations. It can be written on, it can be dry erased. There's a lot of perks to this binder. So $55 is not a lot. So if you take 55 minus the 10, you've made a $45 profit in 40 minutes. So this is how you price your binders. Um, you can do this for any other projects that you use. You basically just want to break down your cost of everything that you're using. And then once you get that, you say, hey, I want to pay myself $30 an hour. So if you spent $10 on materials, you want to make $30 an hour, 30 plus 10, charge your customer $40. But $50, $55 is a good price for these binders. Again, it's an investment on their child's learning. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, drop them below.